けれどはい。My journal and to like set a reminder for myself. So it's basically journal but in a video form. But,、um, oh, sorry, hit my mic.、Uh, so, yeah.、Uh, hi.、Uh, never actually had a serious talk for quite a while. Yeah, so I've been through a lot and I went through a lot. Met a lot of people,、um, a lot of interesting people. So,、um, but I'm glad to say that I'm back good again. The things I'm doing. So,、um, tomorrow、uh, will be my last sem. I'll be starting my last semester, and class starts tomorrow. Until the very end of July, and that's it. You know, I graduated.、Uh, after that, I would take some time to like cool off myself. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm still stuck in my zone, like, I don't know what to do. I mean, I mean, okay, if YouTube, if being a YouTuber was, a, was an option, I mean, it is an option, but it's just that. It's just that, does it give me the enough budget for me to survive? I don't think so. So I need to get a real job in the end. So, yeah, I mean, I gotta say for myself, in, <laughs> my, in my perspective, I think my, my YouTube weren't doing that well as well, my YouTube journey. So,、uh, I think the best journey still has to go to、uh, 2021. Yeah. I really enjoyed the moment around 2021. It's like where everything goes according to my plan and it's actually like accelerating. you know. I mean, there are ups and downs, obviously, but it's going up most of the time. And I, and I thought that I'm g o n n a make it somehow, but like,、um, I'm not sure, really clearly sure what happened in the end, and I, like, I dropped again. I think it's mainly because of my inconsistency. So I find it really hard to be consistent with, like, because my, me, myself, I'm a really bad planner. Still trying to be a good planner, and I really try to, like, juggle around my YouTube journey and my real life stuff, you know, my real life stuff. So, It's hard to cope. Sometimes it's hard to cope and、uh, cope, cope with these two, I would say, dimensions of life, I guess.、Um, and it's been pretty challenging. But、um, let's go back to when I first started my college life. And、uh, oh, yeah, and am I going to continue studying? Most probably not. Because I feel like in my industry, flame making or like shooting a video and stuff, like a video or anything, I, I don't think it's a, a thing need to be studied for the study for, you know? The reason why I came to this college to like gain a little bit of knowledge, I guess. Like, I, I wasn't intended to go to college, you know? I never like wanted to go to college, you know? and Somehow, my friends just convinced me and like just 
advise me on why I should go to college, you know? And if I didn't go to college, you know, where would I be? You know? And um Yeah, that's that. And graduating really soon. Graduating this year. I mean the time flies, I don't know. I seriously don't know what would I do, but I I, I really don't want to continue si- studying. I, I don't feel like it's worth my time to study something like this, you know, like um, mass communication. Like I, I, I don't think it's a thing that needs to be studied. Uh, but yeah, I, I do learn some few theories or like interesting methods and studies on how to communicate better and the history of how people connected with each other back then and basically the entire theories of communication um, which were pretty boring <laughs> I, 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 I was hoping that we would get to hands on get to do practical things more often than just studying because it's mostly studying uh, which <laughs> Which I find really quite boring my college journey, um, but I did learn something. You know, I I didn't know that I'm gonna act. You know, yeah, I became actors in like few areas. You know, I I I, I didn't know that I would actually act in some uh, projects and stuff. You know, it's you know, uh, I mean, back then, acting like is one of the option. I would go for but you know yeah at least I got to experience right here in my college journey so okay I'm getting sidetracked so um yeah back to when I started college um it was really good because it was online class I really enjoy online class and then it kind of like uh like at around that semester we have to go back which is kind of shit yeah that, for that semester uh because that time <laughs> all the exams are open book which is pretty good it's a it's an advantage for us to get a's like the highest mark as possible because it's just open book you can look, oh you can look through the books and answer the questions that's the best part yeah and um yeah like between 2020 to 2021 were like these two years were like really impacted me these two years really taught me a lot of lessons as well and uh i really enjoyed those memories i i i I wouldn't even know that the time flew by so fast you know i i didn't expect that it's 2023 now you know and it's crazy, you know. I'm I'm 21 now. Can you believe that? I'm 21. <laughs> I'm, t- I'm 21. <laughs> I'm t- I I feel so old now. I'm 21 now. I I, I still can't believe I'm 21. I ba- ba- back then I was I, I I kept on thinking like when am I going to be 21, you know? Like what happens when I when I'm 21? But here am I. You know, almost getting closer to my 21st birthday uh my, my family is gonna make uh, a crazy celebration about it uh i mean for me it's nothing i it, it's just 21 you know i still have a long journey it's nothing to be celebrated I, you know, I, I i don't get why people celebrate 21st birthday like why is it so special it's just 21 <laughs> it's just a number i mean Maybe in our Asian cu- Asian culture, it's like 21 is where you finally step out from your house. Yeah, I know some of you Americans, uh, maybe take like 17, like a bit earlier, a few years to, for you guys to step out of your house. But um, 21 is where you step into the adult life, where you started working or you like, you can do whatever you want, literally whatever you want now. Yeah, but... Yeah, it's a special day to remember. I don't know why. I don't know. I I I don't I don't know why what's so special about that, but um Yeah, pretty cool, I guess. Pretty cool. Uh so that's that. I didn't Yeah. 
it's like a few months away. Wait, let me count five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Seven months more. Till I hit twenty one. Okay. I think I'm gonna make a song. Twenty one, twenty one. <laughs> twenty one savage. Yeah. Nah, but that's that I guess. Uh twenty one you know. I mean the reason why I make this video is just to like track what I've been through. I just wanted to talk about it, you know, what I've been through um throughout these years. Uh there are things that I regretted doing for sure. You know. Uh and life life is life, you know. Life is life, you know, sometimes sometimes that was meant to happen and sometimes this was meant to happen so you can't really control it, right? Uh but uh yeah it's been a great journey. It's been a great journey. Um as I was saying, two thousand twenty and two thousand twenty one was uh were quite fun year I guess. These two years I really enjoy it. You know, the pandemic years. Even though it's not really good for some people I know, but I really enjoyed you know being locked down you know and like just stay in your house you know it's like it's it's like a big deal you know it's like whoa for this virus going around and then like everybody just staying at house like, you know it's like it's my like, like first time encountering in my entire life encountering this type of shit so i mean it's quite interesting at the same time it's scary no shit for some people but for me it's quite chill i don't know i don't know <laughs> Hi, we're coming. I'm recording my journal. Oh, you got one call. Come on. No worries, lah. Let's come. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. My girlfriend just came back. Uh, I mean, as I was saying, uh, and yeah, I, 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 I wouldn't expect to get a girlfriend <laughs> last year as well. So, it's pretty crazy. You know, I, I, can you not say that? But uh, yeah, I didn't, I, before that, I always tell myself that, you know, uh, Jason, you're, you're not going to get a girlfriend until you start working. You know, you have financial you know, stable. Yeah. Unless, unless you are, <laughs> yeah. Until you get a job. Yeah. Yeah, now but. Now we're having the problem. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, the way I fell in love with her is like I don't know. It's something else. I can't describe it. You know, you can't describe love. I that's I can't. I don't know. Yeah, for for me, it's just how feelings go and I can't really explain how it goes. Um He tricked me. <laughs> what? He tricked me. So um you wanna say hi? Can someone rescue me from him? You wanna say hi? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah um yeah, what what a journey. It's uh it's it's gonna be emotional. <laughs> it's gonna be emotional. Uh twenty first uh I mean this video I, I I I I'm gonna make uh, like this video was dedicated to twenty first birthday uh Oh, so? Uh. Uh. 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, so so sorry. I didn't. I didn't expect myself to tear up. But I don't know. I I I it's. I don't know what will happen in ten years or twenty years. So it's been a lot. Um. Yeah. There. There. There are certain points where I felt really lost, and I don't know what am I supposed to do, and I don't know where am I supposed to go. Uh, I felt like, you know, that that there are sometimes you will feel like a loser. So it's normal. I've been there, you know, and um, yeah. Last year didn't go that well, I guess for for me. I it 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 didn't turn out that well on my YouTube journey, and you know, on balancing my life, and. This year, you know, uh, January until April right now, as I'm recording this video, it's 17th of April 2022. Yeah, from January right to right now, it it's a uh, it's a mess. But but I'm trying to fix it. Uh, okay, I started fixing my life since first of April, so. I I really I truly felt lost during January. Too much. I don't know who I am. I don't know where am I. I don't know what am I doing. You know, at 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 a, at a certain point, I would ask myself like, is this what I wanted? You know, I would question my future. I would. <laughs> I'm an overthinker, so <laughs> sometimes I overthink too much, and these things will happen. I will break down. You know, and I, I don't know. Uh, there are a few times when I went through this, and uh, uh, sometimes she knows about it. Sometimes she doesn't because I keep it to myself. But it's it's better. Okay, guys, listen up. It's an advice from me. I learned from this. Tell someone when this shit happens. Don't keep quiet. Don't do stupid things, please. All right. Some people still loves you out there. All right. Don't go hurt yourself. Don't cut yourself. Please, don't cut yourself. Don't try to attempt suicide, because of your life is turning upside down right now. Okay, and it really hurts to see those young people dying. You know, because of this sake. I mean, I, I, I had a, I had a friend from my, uh, from my school. Can you? <laughs> It's a bad moment. It treat me like that. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah. She's my emotional support. <laughs> Why is it? Mm. Um. So. Um. Where was I? Yeah. Uh. There was this friend. He was my. Um. We were not really close, but he is my senior in football, and um. He died. He attempted suicide because he broke up with his girlfriend. For me, it's like, what? <laughs> that bro, that time when the group, when our group chat was saying that he's dead, I'm like, what? I'm like, he's dead. He's like dead, dead, like actually dead. Oh what? I'm, I, I, I was pretty shocked at first, like. <laughs> Is it legit dead or what? And my friend said when the moment my friend sent a a funeral picture of him, like his whole funeral, I'm like, shit. He died. I I I couldn't believe. I literally was shocked for like ten to twenty minutes. I didn't know how to react. I I I swear to gosh, I just saw him like two years ago. And he's dead. At the age of, I don't know. By now, I think he's like twenty three. When he died, he's like nineteen, twenty. You know, like so dumb. Why would you you die for a girl? You a time suicide for a girl? Is that worth it? Like, come on. I mean, I mean, while while we were playing football, he was always the quiet person. He doesn't really like to interact. That's the moment we knew something is wrong. <laughs> like, 
I mean that time he, he was still with his girlfriend but still when he died like uh, my friend asked him I didn't go to his funeral because I was not really close to him you know but I I'm, I'm still like like I, I, I tell myself like wow right. young people are making dumb decisions to die you know and Sometimes you have to ask yourself, right? Like, is is it worth it to die like that for a person? Will you die for me? Yes, but not a literal way to die because we break up. You know, there are other fishes out there. Okay, like you may you may get a better girlfriend. You may never know. Just let it go. So sometimes in life, you have just like you just have to let it go. Yes, it's tough. I know it's tough. It's like a piercing sword. Shovel in your tummy, yes. Okay. So what? Deal with it. Double hill. Cheers. So um. Okay, back to my um college journey. It's been um. Okay, let's talk about my internship. <laughs> um. I was pretty excited to my uh, internship because I was really look on to uh, look upon to my um, I the director of my company. I'm not gonna say his name out, but um, and um, he is like top ten, top thirty Malaysians best photographer, uh, cameraman, or something like that. And he's like, um, you you guys know the Oppo mobile phone. He is the ambassador of the phone, like photographer of the phone. So I was like, "Oh, okay, that's something." And I'm in bit in in the beginning, like I was like really excited, you know. Let's go! You know, I finally got accepted by a company, and uh, that's a cockroach crawling on my wall. <laughs> Uh, but um, wait, hang on. Don't. Not enough. 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 Wait, where was I? Shit, I keep getting sidetracked. Director. Yeah, Martin. okay. Yeah, so I was really looking forward to it. I was like, whoa, you know, you know, photographer and stuff, and he's like something else, you know. He's someone that I could look upon. Um but throughout the journey, um if you wanted to ask, am I am I prepared? Am I ready for the internship? Honestly, no. <laughs> Honestly, no. Um. So please, I would like if I would tell myself in the past, please organize your things properly, plan your stuff well because without planning. Most of the things will go downhill, and you won't expect the unexpected. So it's better off the plan of things. But um, yeah. So I mean, there are good times. You know, I I truly learn a lot during that period. I truly learn a lot to become a better person. Yeah. So I don't know if she noticed. That I became a better person, but uh, yeah. Uh, for me, you know, there are still some parts I need to be improved. You know, and a ton of things. But sometimes we have to tell ourselves, you know, like you did enough, you did great. You know, don't be on so hard on yourself. You know, sometimes just you have to encourage yourself. Yeah, you did good. Come on, you know, continue doing what you're doing. I I I I notice some people like mostly hard workers. 
they would they would exceed their limits yes they would exceed their limits but they rarely compliment on themselves they rarely encourage themselves on doing certain things i mean which is good because they're striving what they're going to strive you know they know what they're doing don't they know what their target is but sometimes when something doesn't go right they will fall down and it is it's the like for men it's the hardest shit ever we we fall down we don't even know like we would feel very depressed we don't even know what to do and yeah i mean re- recently i've looked through these reels i've sent to her i don't know if she saw it um there's this guy who lost the entire investment money that she he he invested in and he, that time he was in a relationship with his girlfriend and he just he lost everything you know and he was bankrupt i think he was bankrupt and he told his girlfriend i need some time alone you know i'm nothing now i don't know if you still want me i'm nothing now so i think we should break up because i'm really down right now and i need some time alone i need to fix my life again um but the woman told told him really really give him <laughs> the shocks of his life the woman told him if it's meant both of us to sleep under the bridge i don't mind wow i was like wow i mean that's what men really need as a soulmate for you know that's what for us that's what we wanted from our soulmate like they would no matter it's not about the money you know no, no matter how down we are you're still able to pick us up and say like hey it's okay if it's meant to sleep on the streets why not i'm still beside you i'm not gonna leave you you know like at your lowest point they'll, they'll still be there for you and we really need someone like that in our, in our life so uh i don't know if i found the one <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah she's giving me the stats <laughs> so um no i didn't cry uh and yeah that's that and i you know struggles i mean there 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 are a lot of struggles right now i have my struggles right now so i have my finance struggle yeah i have my finance struggle yes what finance struggle come on i'm i'm not i'm not scared I'm, i'm not scared of saying uh, i have finance struggle you know yeah just spit it out you know just spit out all your struggles you know yo yeah what am i like a rapper now what <laughs> okay so mm, yeah throughout the internship i was i i felt i felt really lost uh i There, there are sometimes. I mean, yes, I step out from my comfort zone, but it's exhausting. I would say it's 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 very exhausting. I don't know. Yeah, so. I mean, it's part of adult life. Um, I I I ask myself so many times. And the company really wants me back, and I'm like, uh, let me reconsider it <laughs> because because it's not entirely what I wanted to do. You know, I don't see my future there. I seriously don't see my future there. Like, do I want to be successful? Yes. If you want to be successful, this is not the way you should take. You know, I, I, I there's something in me that's telling me that if you want to be successful, this is not the journey. Yes, it gives you money. Yes, but for how long? For how much? You know, I ask myself that like, yes, they pay you two thousand dollars per per month. They they pay you, they pay you three dollars, three thousand dollars. You know, per month. Yeah, okay, but how long will that last? You know, you got bills to pay in the end. You know, when you live alone, you got bills to pay. Um, when you're married, you have to feed your kids. You have your wife. You have yeah, just house. You have to pay for cars. It's not enough 
for three thousand. You think it's enough for three thousand <laughs> to to live your entire life? It's it's not. Like every month, three thousand. <sighs> Like yes, it's it's probably enough for single people, but not enough. not enough. I don't know. Yo, yo, you're more understanding on this. I haven't stepped in there yet, so I didn't know. Not enough. Okay. <laughs> you say not enough is not enough. Yeah. Okay. Um. And I really don't like working for people. I don't enjoy that. I seriously don't like. Yes, if you want to find a job. Easily, yes, there are million jobs out there. You know, it's easy to find. You could, you could send to like ten companies. You get accepted like five or six. I guarantee you. So, yeah, as long as you have a decent like achievements and anything, yeah, everybody wants you. You know, they they really they really need workers for their company. But I really hate the fact to work for people. There's there's no freedom of doing so. You know, I really like to do my own production. I I really want to do in my way. You know, in my internship period, I always have to be commanded to do this, do that, do this, do that. I I really hated that shit. You know, I don't want to voice out because I'm just an intern. You know, I'm just a tiny bitsy peanuts. You know, and they are like freaking lions, tigers. If I were to describe that way, I'm just a cat. You know, they are tigers. Yeah, I'm just a meow. So I can't voice out. If I voice out, I probably get a fail for my internship. So <laughs> sometimes you have to keep it for yourself. So that's why struggles came. You know, that's where struggles came, and that's where I break down. So, uh, just find someone to talk to. You know, and I I found someone to talk to as well, and that's how it really solved my problem. Yeah, and don't don't be quiet. Talk to someone. Yeah, literally talk to someone. Um, but yeah. Um, in five years, in ten years, I don't know what I would be. You know, I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna be mature. Obviously, yes, I'm gonna be mature. I'm, I'm growing my stash, so I really hope that I could get a beer. Five years, Jason, get a beer. <laughs> so I, I really love to have a beer, but I don't. As an Asian, I don't think that would happen. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, we won't be able to get until like those like, you know, American, Western, Europeans, you know, those like very well shaped beer. But um, yeah, in, in, Indians have pretty good genes as well for beer. Yeah, mm -hmm. calling out Aaron. <laughs> so uh, uh, yeah, that's that. Um, uh, I I won't shave for the next uh, five years. I promise, I won't shave. Yeah, I won't shave. I will. I will have. Yeah, I don't know how long we'll go. Yeah. Um, I think in five years or ten years, the setup will be different. Now I'm moving to a new house. Uh, there'll be no this anymore. I don't know. Change new girlfriend. No. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're both gonna get older, obviously. Yeah, that time I hit twenty six. I might so care. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know where the city would be as well. You know? <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was hoping to travel to somewhere, as well, in 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 five years. I I don't know, maybe not that long. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to travel. I mean, my first country to travel is uh, South Korea. So, really want to see what it brings. I mean, if there are better countries out there, if I can travel. Switzerland. Switzerland. Yeah. Okay. Switzerland. <laughs> it's always the wives pick the location, right? It's not the men's choice. <laughs> the man just follows and pays the money. <laughs> It's always wife. I want to go there. Yay! <laughs> and then the man cannot say I anything. I want to go to North Pole. Mm -hmm. I want to go to North Pole and see the face G1. I don't know how to go in <laughs> So, um, yeah, I think that's it. You know, um, I mean, okay, I'm gonna send a message to myself as well. 
in five or ten years. Uh, you did well. You know, whatever you're going through, you did well, Jason. Uh, keep on going. You are growing. I believe in you. You're gonna get it. Okay. Yeah, this life is yours. Do what the freak the shit you want. Okay. No one controls your life. Like, no matter your family members tells you what to do, just do it. You know, do it your way. Don't let them control you. Alright? You can do it. You will succeed. Alright? You will succeed. You can do it. Alright? And um, all the best in your life. When you're hitting 30s, you are going to be a great father. I I believe I'm married at that point. I don't know. <laughs> Am I gonna get a child? I don't know, but um, I plan to get a child at 27, 28. But we'll we'll see what happens yeah, if I'm financially balanced. I'm always a family person. But <laughs> see what happens. Um, get some muscle, okay? Get some muscle. Go to the gym. Alright, just say get some muscle. Go to the gym. Be like Andrew Tate. Yeah. Why does it look big on the camera? <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, I mean yes my community they are my kids but I mean like physical kids uh, get a daughter get a son I, I don't know I would like a daughter first let's get a daughter yeah uh, <laughs> I don't know but all the best um, for me uh, during this college journey it's gonna end soon Probably gonna make a video about that as well, but you did well. Congrats on your achievement. Oh my gosh, can you not? <laughs> Freak say. Uh yeah. I'm gonna go now. Yeah. Hey, those who listen to me until this long, you are the real ones. Uh type. I love Jason's mama in the chat, in the in the comment, if you made it this far. <laughs> so, uh, 